Lanny Davis, uh, our friend, attorney and principal Lanny uh, Davis and associates, special counsel formerly for President Clinton, of course, and uh, the author of Crisis Tales, Five Rules for Coping with Crisis in Business, Politics, and Life. Hello, Lanny. Hello, Stephen. How are you? Happy Friday. Well, I'm about to go visit my 15-year-old son in a summer camp that I went to in the 60s and my oldest son went to in the 80s. But that's a long story. I don't have enough time. I was going to say, yeah, no, all right, that, that's for another time. Well, okay, good, 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 have a good trip. Um, all right, so you're ticked off, and you've written uh, such, because uh, here's what ticked you off. To officiate a union that is expressly not for the same godly purpose of procreation and to call such a relationship sanctified is unacceptable to a sound mind. That was uh, a member of the Sinai Temple in Los Angeles, uh, N. Michael Nunn, who I, I, I assumed was a rabbi, but I, I might, might have made no, the wrong... No, no, a member of the congregation okay. um, and a Persian descent. Okay, is... and he wrote that in a letter to the congregation, and you, you say that these shameful words, as you call them, could have come from Ayatollah Khomeini. No, I, see, to me, Ayatollah Khomeini, they would just hang anybody who's gay. <laughs> Well, uh, he went on to say uh, in the subsequent paragraph, so I couldn't put both of them up front, but I immediately followed, that uh, people who are homosexuals are uh, committing um, outrages. You say it, he wrote it's, it's, it's explicitly condemned in Scripture and has been categorically and passionately rejected by all classical Jewish legal and ethical thinkers, uh, blah, blah, blah. And, all right, no, so, don't go blah, 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 as, yeah. as akin to incest and murder. Yeah, he put, okay, as a cardinal vice in the same category as incest, murder, and uh, uh, idolatry, yeah. Right, so incest, murder. So I, I consider that level, I uh, respect the man's religious beliefs, I respect his views that there's something sinful about um, homosexuality and uh, gay marriage. That is something I respect based upon religious principles. But to then compare it to incest and murder, and to condemn it and impose it on the rest of us is where I think it shows a level of theocratic intolerance that reminds me of Ayatollah Khomeini. Well, the reason, and correct me if I'm wrong, that this person, this member of the congregation, uh, by the way, of a Sinai temple in Los Angeles, wrote this is because uh, they decided that the temple's rabbi, David uh, Wolp, uh, decided that he would preside over gay marriages. Uh, at this conservative uh, 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 synagogue and congregation, and he was objecting to that. Now, let me make it clear. I, I, I in no way <laughs> consider uh, being gay uh, or homosexuality with murder or any of the things he said. Now, playing devil's advocate, let me, I, again, for argument's sake, and I make that clear to Media Matters and anybody else rolling tape on this, for argument's sake, let me say he's just categorizing it in the category of sins, of which all the others are included, lumping sins together. That's, that's probably what he was doing. Look, let's both agree, for the purposes of the record, that he's entitled to his opinion. And further than that, I say in my piece, I respect his religious principles that lead him to that opinion. And I say that to people who are pro-life, who are opposed to all uh, abortions, even though I disagree with them. I respect religious principles. But the... Uh, Going over the line of comparing uh, people who um, are homosexuals and want love and, and relationship in a same-sex lawful marriage to uh, something that is a capital offense, murder, or even more mind-boggling, incest, is very offensive to me because it's his... Uh, arrogance, and that's a, a harsh word. No, I understand, that, but, but... That takes yeah. views and says, I am righteous and I am right, and somebody who disagrees with me is uh, akin to a murderer. And no, I, I agree. I, I agree with that. I mean, I, I could see your point in that, and I respect that, just as you respect other points of view you said, too. And again, I'm not agreeing with his point of view by lumping all those quote-unquote sins together. However, your, your piece goes beyond that, and the title of your piece is, For Me, Gay Marriage is No Purple right. Issue, and you chose to put that more offensive quote that further down and the the and, and 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 the other quote higher up so so it's not focused on the on your your offense taken to that quote it's this is also about your support for gay marriage yes and uh, the most important thing that i do in my column is i said for me so this is me talking sure i'm not pronouncing for you or anyone else for me I try to see things purple, meaning even if I disagree, I try to understand what a conservative is arguing, 
And I actually sometimes see a lot of merit in what a conservative is arguing because I'm able to put myself into somebody else's shoes and see the world differently. And I've really tried to do that on, for people who are really offended and really upset by the notion of gay marriage. And aside from emotion and religion and things that are not based on fact, I, I get that. You know, people are entitled to emotions. But there isn't a single fact that can differentiate same-sex marriage from uh, heterosexual marriage in terms of love relationship, endurance, ability to be great parents. We now all have personal experiences with same-sex couples with children. And uh, Mr. Justice Kennedy, no liberal, and uh, the gentleman from Los Angeles, Mr. Nunn, said you can't be of sound mind. Well, Mr. Justice Kennedy is of sound mind, found that the California proposition banning gay marriage was a violation of equal protection under the Constitution because it lacked any factual or rational basis. So that's why I have a hard time being purple. Lanny, I, so long. I appreciate your point of view. I disagree with much of what you said, but that's for another uh, time. I, I wish you a lot of fun. I, I want to find out more about that camp. 